building and I welcome you to my holiday treat series. In this video I will simply show you how to create the perfect pretzel rod and also using caramel to get that swirl effect. If you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on. And to all my subbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. And let's get into the video. In this glass container, I have my super white candy melts. I have a tall cup. In this bowl, I have my holiday sprinkles, which they are holly. I have my Paramount Crystals to melt my chocolate. I have a cutting board just for transferring for my pretzel rods. I have my pretzel rods, a Wilton's a piping bag, my silicone spoon. I have a mold, which is a holly mold. And I have two pieces of fondant. I have by Renshaw. This is a red and a green. And I also have my caramel this is a peter's caramel that i will be using i have my parchment paper and i have a little scraper here and it's by a teco and all the supplies that i am using in this video i will leave it in the description box below so i'm gonna start off with melting my chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds i'm going to apply a small amount to my candy melts to better melt my chocolate so just sprinkling over a few pinches of the paramount crystals before melting and put them in your microwave for 30 seconds so i have removed my candy melts you want to take your heat resistant spoon and just give it a stir and if your candy melts don't completely melt you can put it back in for another 30 seconds until completely melted. So this is the second time that I melted for 30 seconds. You want to make sure that you stir your candy milks to assure that all the milks have melted in your glass container. To assure that your chocolate is melted completely and properly, just pick it up and you want to have a drizzle after you pick it up with your spoon. If it's not enough, then just apply a little bit more Paramount Crystals to your candy melts. And then you want to put it in for at least 10 seconds. You do not want to overheat your candy melts. And this will melt down your melts. So after you have added the right amount of Paramount crystals to your candy melts. You want to assure that you have a good even flow of candy melts by just picking up your spoon. And if it flows right off your spoon or spatula, then you're all set to go. Using a tall cup and a piping bag, you want to take your piping bag, place it inside the tall cup, taking your chocolate or your candy melts and pouring it right over into the cup and the piping bag. Before you dip, you want to lay down a few sheets of parchment paper or wax paper. So the reason I dip in a tall cup, it just assures me to coat my pretzel rod fully and 
evenly. So taking your presser rod and going all the way in. And if you have to tilt to get down a little further to on your pretzel, just tilt your cup a little bit and just give it a turn. Come back up. Give it a little shake. And if you are laying these down flat on the back of the pretzel, you can slightly scrape along the edge of your cup. to prevent any large puddles. If you begin to see any puddles around your presser rod, just simply pick it up and move it into a different position. Taking your sprinkles, you want to sprinkle your presser rods while they are wet and just sprinkle right along your presser rod. So taking a cutting board or a transfer board and transferring your presser rods to the board and then this is where you would place your rods into the freezer for about five minutes. So any extra sprinkles that you have left you want to take and collect them and put them back into your bowl. Creating the swirl to go around your presser rod you want to take your Peter's Caramel and you want to simply roll in your hand or along your surface and it will stretch it's stretchable very flexible but you want to take a generous amount and start off with your top small taking your presser rod and starting from the back and just pinch the back and begin to stretch your rod and going around your presser as so. Now once you have got to the bottom of the rod, to the desired part of your rod, pinch the back of your rod and remove the extra. And then you're ready for dipping. Now, if you dip your caramel pretzel into hot candy melts, your caramel will begin to start sliding or melting away. So you do not want to dip while your candy melts or your chocolate is extremely hot. So let your chocolate or candy melts cool first and then begin dipping. Once you have dip, you want to shake the extra off. Making sure that your rod is completely coated. And you know, roll. Let's slide off the extra that's going to be the back of your pretzel. Okay, placing it down. Now, if you get a puddle around your presser rod, remember to pick it up and just change positions. And this is ready to go into your freezer for about five minutes. So here's the cool trick of why I add the piping bag to the cup. I can remove the piping bag from the cup Okay, taking a rubber band, closing up the top. So taking your piping bag, what you wanna do is pull back your chocolate before you cut the desired hole that you want to have when drizzling for your pretzel. So pulling back, taking your scissors, 
and you want to start off small and I like to do a pre drizzle just to see how thick and how well the flow is coming out of my bag now once you have your desired cut you want to go ahead and do another pre pre drizzle now when you do your drizzle over these particular presser rods you want to pre drizzle before going over your pretzel so you want to start here get a flow and come across get a flow and come across now after you have done your drizzle you want to place it back on your cutting board or transfer board and put it back in the freezer for about five minutes so now we're going to create the holly leaf for our presser rods using this mold that you can get off of Amazon. I also have a little stick here that I'm also going to be using, which I call the Nick Stick from Chef Nicholas Lodge Collection. And this will help put the smaller pieces of fondant inside the mold. So what we're going to do is powder up our mold. Okay, so lightly powder our mold taking a small piece of red fondant, okay? Don't need too much, but you want to get right into where you see the little berry imprint and taking your fondant. So using the little nick stick and just working your fondant into those cavities of where the berries are, making sure they're firmly in there. Then you're gonna take a piece of your green. Roll it out and just apply it right over the red, making sure that it doesn't come up. So taking your rolling pin, rolling it back and forth, making sure that it doesn't lift up. taking your scraper and it's thin enough to go right along the mold and up under the fondant. So firmly press and gently come across your mold, removing all the extra excess of the fondant, pulling your mold back and letting your piece come out. And there you have your holly leaf. So here we have our presser rods almost finished with the last touches of the holly leaves. I'm going to apply this leaf to this presser rod, which is all finished with the lines. I'm going to take my piping bag and just apply a small amount at the bottom of my rod. Taking my leaf and apply it right over the chocolate so that it can stick like glue. So that's how you apply your little fondant pieces over certain treats by just applying a small generous amount of chocolate where it don't show and you have your pretzel rods all finished and complete. There you have it, sweet gang, your Christmas holly pretzels. Wonderful treat for the holiday season. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, if you have any ideas over these holiday series that I'm going to be doing, give them right into the comment section below and I promise you I will get to them as soon as I can. I look forward to your ideas and if you are new to my channel I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell letting me know that you are about to get life from your girl raw. So at this time, you already know, it's your girl Ro about to go, and I will see y'all in the next video.